Hey class, welcome back. Today we are still talking about World War II, and it's the last thing we're going to talk about before World War II is uh, Hiroshima, Hiroshima and Nagasaki, the atomic bomb. Uh, the atomic bomb was was created, and that same year dropped on both Nagasaki and Hiroshima uh, during World War II, and it 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 pretty much ended the war. The Germans had already pretty much uh, gave up at this point. They had already surrendered. But Japan refused to surrender, so uh, they said, you know, we need y'all to surrender, and they weren't going to, so they dropped dropped a couple of different atomic bombs, and uh, and they finally surrendered about six days later after that. So uh, that's what we're talking about today, Nagasaki and Hiroshima. And so at the start of World War II, in 1939, the atomic bomb, this thing right here, had not been invented yet. But scientists discovered, hey, we it might be possible to have this huge explosion by splitting an atom. And so they they decided to, to give it a try and say, see if we can do this. And this type of bomb, it could destroy large cities in a single blast, and it, it would change warfare forever. And it has changed warfare, warfare forever. Now we've got nuclear bombs all over the place and they can uh like it's still the same kind of devastation that this bomb caused in hiroshima and nagasaki when they used it the atomic bomb at the start of world war ii in 1939 the atomic bomb had not yet been invented however scientists discovered about that time that a powerful explosion might be possible by splitting an atom a type of bomb could destroy large cities in a single blast and would change warfare forever all right, so Albert Einstein, this man right here, he came up with a lot of the theories that and that that were there to help scientists in making this atomic bomb, and he realized, hey, this bomb could be made, and he was afraid it was going to fall into the hands of the Germans, so uh, and they were going to learn how to make this bomb first. So he wrote a letter to U.S. President at the time, Franklin Roosevelt, telling him, hey, we can make this bomb. I don't really want this to fall in the hands of the German. So as a result, Roosevelt set up what was called the Manhattan Project. Albert Einstein. Albert Einstein came up with many of the theories that helped scientists in making the atomic bomb. When he realized that such a bomb could be made, he was frightened about what might happen if Hitler and Germany learned how to make the bomb first. He wrote a letter to U.S. President Franklin Roosevelt telling him about the atom bomb. As a result, Roosevelt set up the Manhattan Project. All right, so the Manhattan Project, it, it was a name for, it was a research and development program for the atomic bomb. And uh, it started out real small, but as the idea of the atom bomb being real came to light, more scientists were added, all right? And many of the scientists involved in it were scientists that had come from Germany, all right? They had left Germany, had defected from Germany, by the end of the by the end of it, the project was about two billion dollars, and there was around two hundred thousand people working on it. It's called the Manhattan Project. Manhattan Project. The Manhattan Project was named for the research and development program for the atomic bomb. It started small, but as the bomb became more real, the United States added scientists and funding to be sure they were the first to have the bomb. Ironically, many of the scientists involved in making the bomb had defected from Germany. By the end of the project, funding had reached two billion, and there were around two hundred thousand people working on the project. All right, July the sixteenth, nineteen forty-five. It was the first atomic bomb testing. All right, it exploded in, in the New Mexico desert, right here, in New Mexico, and there's still there's a site set up for it where it was, uh, an explosion was massive. It was equivalent to eighteen thousand tons of TNT. All right, and they thought. The, at the scientists came up and said they figured that the temperature in the middle of it was three times hotter than that of the center of the sun, which is, woo, that's extremely, extremely hot. The first atomic bomb on July 16th, 1945, the first atomic bomb was exploded in, in the New Mexico desert. The explosion was massive and the equivalent to 18,000 tons of TNT. Scientists figured that the temperature at the center of the explosion was three times hotter than that than the center of the sun. All right. 
So scientists were happy they were successfully made this bomb, but they also were sad and they were fe fearful it could cause mass destruction and death all over the world. But when, when Truman, President Harry Truman, he became president in that time because Roosevelt passed away, he heard the bomb success. He wrote, we've discovered the most terrible bomb in the history of the world. The first atomic bomb continued. Although the scientists were happy they had successfully made the bomb, they were also sad and fearful. The bomb would change the world and could cause mass destruction and death. When President Harry Truman heard of the bomb's success, he wrote, We have discovered the most terrible bomb in the history of the world. All right. So deciding to drop this bomb, okay. By the time the first atomic bomb had been made, finally they got it tested, everything was right. Germany had already surrendered, and World War II in Europe, the Europe part of it was over. But Japan was defeated, but they would not would not surrender. So the U.S. was, was thinking about it. Okay, maybe we should invade Japan. And the army leaders said, okay, if we invade Japan, there's going to be anywhere from 500,000 to a million U.S. and Allied soldiers that would die during this invasion. So... President Truman decided, okay, we're going to drop this atomic bomb instead and keep our soldiers alive. And that's what they did. Deciding to drop the bomb. By the time the first atomic bomb had been made, Germany had already surrendered and World War II in Europe was over. Japan was defeated as well, but would not surrender. The U.S. was contemplating an invasion of Japan. Army leaders figured that anywhere from 500,000 to 1 million U.S. and Allied soldiers would die in an invasion. And Truman decided to drop the atomic bomb instead. All right. The first bomb was dropped uh, on Hiroshima. This is the actual blast from Hiroshima. This is the pictures of it, okay? All right. The, uh, the, it was called Little Boy, and it was dropped on Hiroshima, Japan. It was huge. The city was destroyed. Tens of thousands of people were killed during this explosion. All right. A lot of them were innocent people. All right. The bomb was dropped by a plane named the Enola Gay, which was piloted by Colonel Paul Tibbetts. Uh, it was huge. The bomb itself was huge. It was over 10 feet long, weighed over 10,000 pounds. And uh, there was a small parachute when they dropped it to slow it down enough for the plane to drop it to keep going and get out of the blast area. So the first one was dropped on Hiroshima on August 6, 1945. On August 6, 1945, an atomic bomb named Little Boy was dropped on Hiroshima, Japan. The explosion was huge. The city was destroyed, and tens of thousands of people were killed. The bomb was dropped by a plane named the Enola Gay, which was piloted by Colonel Paul Tibbetts. The bomb itself was over 10 feet long and weighed around 10,000 pounds. A small parachute was on the bomb in order to shut, slow its drop and allow the plane time to fly away from the blast zone. All right, so Japan witnessed this terrible drop on Hiroshima, but they still refused to surrender. So what did the U.S. and decide to do three days later? On August the 9th, 1945, they dropped another atomic bomb, and it was nicknamed Fat Man. They dropped it on Nagasaki, Japan, and the results were the same. All right, mass destruction. As you can see here, everything is gone. All right, you've got a little bit of a building left standing up, but everything else, if you just look, it's gone. Uh, the, like I said, it was, it was, the devastation was terrible from both of these bombs. Nagasaki. Despite witness, witnessing the terrible destruction of the bomb on Hiroshima, Emperor Hirohito and Japan still refused to, to surrender. Three days later, on August 9th, 1945, an, another atomic bomb nicknamed Fat Man was dropped on Nagasaki, Japan. Again, the de devastation was horrible. And finally, six days after the bombing of Nagasaki, Emperor Hirohito and Japan forces surrendered to the U.S. All right. And the emperor announced it on the radio, and it was the first time that the Japanese had heard his voice ever. Surrender. Six days after the bombing of Nagasaki, Emperor Hirohito and Japan surrendered to U.S. forces. The emperor announced this on the radio. It was the first time most Japanese had heard his voice. All right, comprehension question. What bomb was invented and used to end World War II? Was A, the a atomic bomb, B, the H-bomb, or C, nothing? It was A, the atomic bomb.
H bomb came in like in the nineteen fifty one or something. It was the atomic bomb that was invented. Ding ding ding! We have a winner. Number two, who came up with the theory for the atomic bomb? Was it A. Mr. Sean, B. Albert Einstein, or C. Adolf Hitler? It was B. Albert Einstein. We know it wasn't Mr. Sean. Mr. Sean is old, but he's not that old. It was Al Albert ding, Einstein ding. came up with the most theory, and he was he was scared. So he went, he said, I'm frightened about making this bomb. So he, I don't want it to get, drop in Germany's hands. So I'm going to go to President Roosevelt at the time and tell him about it. It was not Mr. Sean. It was not Adolf Hitler. Let's, let's hear Mr. Sean's here. Yeah, let's flush that answer down the toilet if you push Mr. Sean. All right, we're going to flush that one down the toilet. All right. All right. Number three, what was the name of the research program for the A-bomb? Was it A, the Manhattan Project, B, Project X, or C, the Bomb Squad? It was A, the Manhattan Project. That was the name of the research program. By the end of it, they had over 200,000 people working on this, on the eight atomic bomb, and it cost about $2 billion or something. Ding, ding, ding. We have a winner. Number four, where was the first A bomb tested? A, North Carolina, B, Maryland, or C, New Mexico? The first bomb was tested in New Mexico. There's a site, ding, ding, there's a ding. test site, a, a monument to it that's standing now where, where the first bomb was tested. Number five, what two cities did the U.S. drop the atomic bomb on in 1945? A, Hiroshima and Nagasaki, B, North Carolina, or C, Maryland? It was A, Hiroshima and Nagasaki, Japan, where they dropped it. It was devastation. All right, the tens of thousands of people died. The, the destruction to the land was was awful so uh mass destruction ding 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 we have a winner and that's our last comprehension question uh this is the last lesson for world war ii we'll be back next time and we're gonna start talking about the cold war so uh i will see you all then you all have a very good day